Hello, my loves. Right, so I've got the lovely Courtney in today, and um, she unfortunately had nails covered in MMA. They took just about an hour ish to get them off. Um, so they're very, very um, thin, very fragile, and there are there is some staining where they'd put orange acrylic on and not a clear base. So what we've done is I've taken my time to remove them. I've very gently prepped the nails. I've added tips and I'm just going in now with a micro swab with some isopropyl alcohol to dehydrate. And then I'll go in and prime. She wanted them nice and long, nice and really tapered. And we're going for neons and hand painted flames, which I've never done before um, because she's off to the festivals. Uh, there will be some footage on Instagram of us trying to remove the MMA, which is methyl methacrylate. You'll know because when you try and soak it, it just doesn't melt. It doesn't kind of break down. It just turns into like thick, sticky gloop that will not scrape off the nail. But I have a little method that I've started using and it seems to get them off a bit quicker than just soaking. So... I'm just going to apply a thin clear base to all the nails. Right, so this nail is going to be an ombre nail. I'm going to go in with neon orange, which is fun in the sun from Nail Vision. And just kind of tap it into place at the free edge and then feather it back towards the cuticle. These are quite long, which I love. And then on these two, because there was some staining from the previous acrylic, not done by me, I'm just going to add a little bit of toasted rose onto the nail there just to kind of diffuse that staining and give the nail a healthy glow. I'm not dragging it down to the clear base because I'm, we're going to do a clear nail. Sorry if I'm snuffly, but all this rain has really kicked off the hay fever again. It's awful. So again, this is going to be an ombre. So I'm going to do fun in the sun at the tip. Blend it back up the nail. The coverage can be a little patchy here and there. So I need to build it up a little bit. I'm not overly fussed because it is an ombre, so... I've still got to do my nails. I've still got to finish my nails and film it. It's just, I've been so, so busy. And I literally go on holiday Monday and it is now Saturday. And tomorrow I am busy all day and filming. So I do not know. I'll probably try and fit in my nails at some point, either tonight or tomorrow night. So here I'm applying Frantic Fuchsia from Nao. Oh, this is my, one of my fave colors ever. It's just so neon and bright and it doesn't marble and it's not patchy and it's just, oh, so sexual. So we're going to do, on that nail, it will be a vertical ombre, but we're going back to the pinky now while that neon sets. We're going to apply Frantic Fuchsia here and then feather it down the nail. I did find it a little bit tricky to ombre with Frantic Fuchsia because where it's hyper pigmented, it sets up a little bit fast. So I should have worked with it a bit wetter. But that's, you know, down to me, really, getting my ratios correct for the system. So 
So pop in another bead on the cuticle and just using the very tip of the brush to tuck it in. And then I shall feather it down the nail. Same on the index finger. Yeah, she's off to Reading Festival, so she wanted super duper bright nails. I don't blame her really. Onto the thumb and because we're doing a vertical ombre I'm going to apply the orange on the left and then just blend it about and push it. I haven't really done a vertical ombre before I don't think on anything and I have much call for it really so just kind of having a play. <laughs> you know how it is. Chuck a bit more of Frantic Fuchsia in there and I'll just keep doing that until I kind of get it how I want it. They blend pretty easily but it's just the Frantic Fuchsia sets up a bit quick because it's so pigmented. Okay. Back to the index finger and I'm picking up here. Um, what am I picking up here? Oh, I think these are like magic flakes from CJP that I got years ago. They're similar, in fact, they're almost identical to um, the flame or pink flame micro shards from Glitter Planet UK. Probably the same thing. So they do the same job. I just grabbed this pot. Can't really see them from that angle, because but they do glow, they're cute. All right, so I'm gonna cap that pinky with clear. Now I'm going to cap the two middle ones as well with clear because they're just sort of full clear nails with that little bit of nude on the nail bed. So we're building the entire structure out of clear on these ones. So I've applied a bigger bead. Just tuck it in and then work it through the nail. Because we're actually doing hand painted art on these nails. I'm attempting to anyway. You know I don't do a lot of freehand work. I hardly ever do freehand work because Oh, it's just one of those things where I don't have a lot of time to practice. So I feel l sort of l low in confidence, I suppose. But she's such a sweet girl and she just was like, come on, you can do it. I'm like, yeah, do you know what? I'll just do it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> and it was fine. So... something really satisfying about watching like clear acrylic like capping and stuff like that it's another one of those weird quirks very satisfying to watch so after that I'm going to go on and cap the index finger as well
Then we're going to move on to the thumb and I'm going to apply a bead of toasted rose just at the join line there and feather that down into the vertical ombre. So it's like an ombre vertical ombre now. <laughs> and then apply another bead at the cuticle and blend that down as well. I know the angle's not particularly great. I'm still having real issues with my filming angle. I will get it fixed. It's just a matter of pinning down Mr. B and making him fix it. I need to kind of capture him and make him do it. <laughs> and once that nail's um, dried up, we'll uh, cap that as well. So I filed off camera because it's just easier and I'm going to apply top coat to these two nails quickly so that I have a smooth surface to paint on. As you can see my nails are, one hand is lovely, one hand is horrible and now I've done one hand I don't want the same design on the other hand so I don't know what I'm going to do on my own nails. Right, so they've had 60 seconds in the lamp and now I'm coming in with Madame Glam's Bright Barbie Pink on my detailer brush from Aero Puffing, my number one brush. And I'm just doing the top of the flames. This is really just, I mean, it's freehand. You do it how you want, really. There's no rule. Um, it was a learning curve for me. I've never done the flame thing before freehand and I've never ombre gels within a sort of design like this or anything so I was just kind of winging it going with the flow so I'm getting the rough idea for the flame shape that I want and then just doing the top part you know nice and pink and then we'll come in with the orange in a second and do that and kind of ombre it in, which was easier than I thought actually. Okay, so I've got this orange, which is uh, Blood Orange from Madame Glam. And I'm literally using tiny little strokes to kind of brush that into the pink, graduate it up so that the orange becomes the pink, which then becomes the tip of the flame. And the orange is brighter at the base of the nail. Well, the tip of the nail, the base of the design. That's the plan. Now I'm fully aware that these flames look a little bit skinny at the moment, but I wanted to build it up gradually and just assess it. So do a bit and then cure it, then do a bit, then cure it, and kind of work like that, if you know what I mean. Because you can take it off if you haven't cured it, but if you go full ham and slap a load on and then cure it, you're buggered. So I'd rather cure it in little bits. And So I've cured it and then I'm coming in, just adding extra bits. kind of thickening up the flames a bit. I didn't want them to look too chunky because they'll end up looking like my seven-year-old's come in and drawn them. <laughs> so I'm doing the same on this finger as well. There you go. Just fast forward that bit. You don't need to see that bit. Adding again a little bit more. So I just thought, yeah, need a little bit here and there just to kind of, I don't know, make them look a bit better, I suppose. You just, you know what I mean. You look at it and you think, hmm. Once I'm happy with those, I'll cure them again for 60 seconds.
Right, so they've had a cure. I'm happy with the thickness. And I'm going in now with Madame Glam's Perfect Black, I think it's called. Hang on, let me check. Yes, Perfect Black. And we're just doing an outline on like one side of the flame. So we're not outlining the whole thing. Just one side, just for the optical illusion-y type thing. So I'll do that on all of them. Then I shall cure them again. And once they're cured, we're going in with the top coat. This is Super Gloss from Nail Mate. And I love the top coat going on, it's just so gorgeous. So I add the top coat to all the nails, cure them for 60 seconds, and then apply a generous amount once the nails have cooled. I think we used Strawberry Daiquiri from Naf Stuff, the cuticle oil. Oh, so stinky good, nice. <laughs> So yeah, I'm really proud of these. I am really happy with them. She absolutely adored them. Um, yeah, that's it really. I guess I'll see you in my next video. I've got a few more on the way. Even while I'm on holiday, I've scheduled them and filmed and edited and scheduled them to upload. This is one of them actually. Hi, from my holiday. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Tally bye.